Today in this video I'm replacing these shock eye bushings on my rear shocks of the truck. As you've seen they're slightly cracked and to replace them I got these universal 5 8 shock eye bushings from Energy. These are about five dollars for the pair. The grease I use on all my rubber and suspension bushings and everything is this super lube synthetic grease. It's safe for rubber and prevents any squeaks or anything. Now I'm going to be loosening the nut that holds it on and getting it off here. Now that it's off, I have to try to remove the bushing here. This needs to be pressed out so the new one can go in. First thing I'm going to do is put a socket that can receive the rubber. So the rubber, the bushing, whole bushing will press into the socket. I'm going to be using a ball joint press because I couldn't find my Pittman puller. I was going to use a pitman puller for this, but I can't find it anywhere. So I'm just going to use the ball joint press, which should do the job pretty easily. I'm going to just tighten this down. socket seems a bit too shallow so let me get a deeper socket I got a deeper socket here so we'll try to press it out all the way possibly with a deeper socket Seems like it's out all the way. So the old bushing is out. And it's ready for the new bushing. I'm gonna put some grease in there. So the poly bushing doesn't squeak on me. Put a little bit of grease on the new bushing to help it slide in easier. I use the socket to make the head bigger so it has more so it won't slip that easily. That's it. Once it pops in, it's in there. New bushing is installed and solid. And that's it, the new bushing is installed. Now I gotta do the other side. But I'm not gonna show that, it's the same exact process. I'm gonna press out the old one and press in the new one. The ball joint press makes the job very easy, but a Pittman puller would have worked fine as well, which is what I was gonna use. But I couldn't find my small Pittman puller. I could only find a big one. So I ended up just using this. Put grease right here or else this thing won't slide in at all. If you don't grease it, it won't go on. Then push your shock down. And then this will slide on easy. Put your nut back on. And torque it down. You want to tighten it just until you see a little bulge on your bushing. And that's good. If you 
want to over tighten it. On this side I didn't put any grease so when I go to press it on it doesn't want to go. It's very hard to go on without the grease so make sure you put grease. I got a little bit of grease put it on there and now it's just going to slide on very easily there it goes I'm just tighten back in that And that's good. The job is done. I got new bushing there. The lower bushings look fine. So I'm not gonna replace those. And since I have easy access to the upper ones, I decided to just do them. And they were $5 for the pair, so might as well get it done now. They were already cracking for some reason and they're not even a year old. It's an old bushing that was on the track. And as you can see, they are really cracked. Like I said, they were, they're were they not even a year old. These bushings came on the Rough Country shocks that came with the lift kit that I had installed.